Let's check out the delay effect. This is a combination of the simple delay and the ping pong delay brought into one effect uh, from Ableton Live 10.1 and above. If you have uh, older projects using the simple delay or ping pong delay, they will still be good. You'll just see this device with an upgrade button on it, so you can upgrade it to the new device. Uh, this includes all the features in both, plus an extra LFO. So here we have the time selection in 16th notes. You can unlink both the left and right delays. You can take them out of sync to do time, and you can also offset them using the offset button fader. Feedback, freeze or infinite looping, so it will stop the uh, loop. Let's play a sample. And let's just freeze it. So now it will go on forever. Here we have the filter of the delays. Let's do eighth notes with a high feedback. So we can filter the delays. We can turn off the filter. And we can also change the modes, which would decide what happens when we change the time while the delay is working. So repitch will repitch the delay. And fade will fade into it. And jump will just jump. Uh, so this used to be a right click menu option. Now we just have it right there and then, which is great. Ping pong will turn on ping pong mode. So each delay will go from left to right. And the dry wet knob. A new thing that we have added that wasn't available in those other two delays is the modulation. It's an LFO that you can LFO the filter. So we can hear the filter slowly filtering up, high pass sweeping, and the time, which in re-pitch mode will also change the pitch. Uh, in very low values, it can be nice and get kind of a vintage effect. Nice, so that's the delay, combination of the simple delay and the ping pong delay, new from Ableton Live 10.1 and above.